Hey friends, Kim here from Sweet Red Poppy. If you've been thinking about investing in a laser cutter or maybe you're just curious about all things laser and you wanna know what all the hype is, then you are in the right place. Over the past few months, I have been testing out this brand new Mira 5S Redline CO2 laser from Eon. I've been cutting, engraving, and experimenting with tons of different materials so that I could learn this machine's ins and outs. And after tons of testing, I am ready to share my honest thoughts with you and help you decide if it's the right fit for you and your small business. If you've been curious about what this exact machine can do or whether it's the right size for your space and your business needs, buckle up because we're covering everything that you need to know to make an informed decision. Now, make sure to watch all the way to the very end of this video because I'm sharing a ton of free SVG files like this one that you can use in your own small business. So, what is a laser cutting machine? A laser cutting machine uses a super focused beam of light to cut, engrave, or score materials like wood, acrylic, leather, fabric, and paper. You can control the speed and power so you could go from a really delicate etch to making deep cuts with just a few clicks. It's basically like you have your own little magic wand for makers. Now there are three main types of lasers. We have dialed lasers, which are pretty common in our entry level machines. And those are great for engraving, but they are slower and they can't cut through clear or even translucent or light materials. So not ideal for business use. We also have CO2 lasers like the one that I'm using and showing off in this video. Those are a lot more powerful and a lot more versatile. They work on a wide range of materials, including clear acrylic, and they're perfect for those serious crafters, hobbyists, and even small business owners. We also have fiber lasers, and those are used more in industrial settings if you're marking metals. They're amazing at what they do, but not necessary unless you're working full time with metal. Now that you know the basics, let's take a closer look at what makes the Eon Mira 5S Redline such a standout machine. Let's start out with what this machine can actually do. So the Mira 5S runs three to five times faster than most hobby lasers, and it can cut materials up to 10 millimeters thick. With a glass tube, it has a max speed of 1200 millimeters per second, or 3500 millimeters per second with an RF metal tube. Now this machine can engrave, ablate, etch, cut, and score. And if you love customizing tumblers, you're in luck because this machine is compatible with smart rotaries so that you could engrave on cylindrical items as well. It also has a pass-through slot, which means that you can work with materials that are even larger than the cutting tray. This is a huge bonus if you're planning on working on really big signs, oversized decor, or bulk projects. This machine is part of Eon's new Redline series, which is designed to maximize profits with its primary focus being on increasing your efficiency, versatility, and ease of use, while it simultaneously reduces any downtime and overall maintenance. So how does a laser machine work? Well, here's a quick behind the scenes peek at what makes this machine tick. My Mira 5S is actually powered by a 45 watt premium glass CO2 laser tube. It uses electricity to excite CO2 gas inside the tube, which then generates a concentrated beam of infrared light. That beam is what vaporizes your material. It literally burns through it with an insane amount of precision. While it's working, the built-in air assist and exhaust system are going to clear away any smoke and debris to keep those cuts clean and your workspace safe. Pretty cool, right? So what's included in this machine? Let's go over exactly what comes with the Mira 5S. When you order this machine, you will get the Mira 5S Redline. You'll also get Allen wrenches, an ignition key, a funnel, power cords, hoses, and setup tools, an onboard memory, you have access to Wi-Fi, USB and offline flash drive options, as well as a motorized Z table with a honeycomb tray, you also have front pass-through access, and yes, you even get an Eon t-shirt. Here are a few items that are sold separately, but that I added to my order. I ordered a rotary attachment so that I could do tumblers. I also ordered a standalone fume filter, which you will need. I ordered a set of additional lenses and the matching stand with three pull-out drawers, which is so perfect for organizing all of my laser materials. Before we even get into setup, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about delivery because this machine doesn't just show up in a regular box on your doorstep. FedEx Freight delivered my Mira 5S and it arrived fully crated for extra protection. Now this thing is heavy duty, literally, so please be prepared for a large delivery and plan ahead on how you're going to get it into your workspace. 
once we got it uncrated and then we moved it into place, so the setup was really straightforward. Eon includes a handy checklist and they have tons of step-by-step -step tutorials on their website as well as their YouTube channel. And that's just going to walk you through the entire process. You'll go from connecting your exhaust to leveling your bed, everything that you need to know. So I definitely recommend that you take your time here so that you start off on the right foot. Next, let's chat about the build and the features because this machine is packed with really smart design choices that make it feel professional, it's really powerful, but it's also easy to use. The Mira 5S has a sleek, thick steel casing that feels really sturdy, but it's still compact in its size. It's just under 37 inches wide, which really makes this ideal for a home studio or even a small business setup. It also comes with a motorized Z-bed, onboard memory, and flexible connection options. So you could use Wi-Fi, a USB, an offline flash drive. You can really work in whatever way best fits your setup. Over on the right-hand side of this machine, you'll see that we have a touchscreen panel, and this is where you're going to be able to move your laser head manually along your X and Y and Z axis. It even has buttons for everything that you need. We have start, pause, origin, frame, pulse, shift, autofocus. Now let's talk a little bit about the standout features because this machine is stacked with them. It has up to 8G acceleration for blazing fast engraving speeds. I'm still impressed by how fast this goes. A lightweight laser head. This is going to give you cleaner, more precise movements. A material pass-through slot. Again, that's for those oversized projects. A high-res camera so that you can preview your design placement directly inside of Lightburn. It also has integrated autofocus, and it now comes with a brighter work area, which makes it so much easier to monitor your cuts. You have a built-in status light, toolless maintenance, which is amazing because it makes your machine so easy and accessible if you need to do a tube replacement, if you need to clean those mirrors, or even when you want to swap your lenses. A bullseye leveling gauge. This gives you fast, accurate bed leveling and everything is built in, including your water cooler, exhaust fan, and an air assist pump. All of these features make this machine feel really intuitive and user-friendly, even though it's capable of doing some really high-end work. It measures about 36.75 inches by 27 inches, and it weighs just under 220 pounds. It's heavy enough that you'll definitely need some help lifting it, but not so heavy that it's impossible to move. It's also compact enough that you could fit it in most home studios, but it's still powerful enough that you'll be able to do that production level work. Up next, we have our workspace and our bed system. The cutting workspace measures just under 12 inches by 20 inches, and inside the machine, you'll find a honeycomb tray by default, but it also has a blade table that's stored underneath it. Now, these are both interchangeable. You can use either one just based on what material you're going to be working with. So that honeycomb tray, I find it's great for lightweight or flexible materials like paper, fabric, leather, or even a thin acrylic. And it's going to really support your material fully, which is going to help prevent any warping or scorching. The blade table is best for thicker or heavier materials. So think MDF or wood, and that provides minimal contact so that you end up with fewer flashbacks and a much cleaner result. The Z-Bed is fully motorized, which means you can raise it or you could lower it for manual focusing. Now that's really helpful, especially if you're using a material that has varying thicknesses. Now, one of my favorite features on this machine has to be the front to back pass through slot, which allows you to work with materials that are larger than the bed itself. And here's exactly how you'll use it. First, you'll pull the pass through slot out from the back of the machine. Second, you'll want to open that front pass-through door. Three, adjust the Z-axis until it aligns with the pass-through. Four, carefully slide your material through the slot. Here's an example where I actually used it to cut out this squiggly frame and oversized bow for a pin board in my daughter's room. This measured about 19 inches by 16 inches, so being able to shift the material and finish that bottom half was a huge win for me since this was larger than my cutting surface. Another standout feature is the auto focus button on the control panel. This is automatically going to adjust the laser head to match your material height, which saves you a ton of time and reduces your guesswork. But if you prefer to go manual, then you could easily use the included focus gauge to dial it in yourself. Plus there's also a built-in high res camera on the lid, which I love having. You can calibrate this inside of Lightburn and that's going to allow you to preview your material, align your designs, and that's perfect if you have a bunch of pre-cut blanks or even scraps that you want to use up. 
And the smart monitoring on this is also a game changer because it alerts you when your lens needs to be cleaned, which keeps that performance sharp and really consistent. The Mira 5 offers a ton of flexibility in how you run your projects. So we have built-in Wi-Fi, which allows you to run those jobs wirelessly. You could also use the offline flash drive support, which would give you portable file access or direct USB connection. That's usually what I do if I'm working from my desktop or my laptop. And yes, it could even operate completely offline if you have your project saved to its memory, which is really nice. This machine can engrave at blazing speeds up to 1200 millimeters per second. It's actually really impressive, but those high speeds can mean high heat, which is why Eon built in the following. You have a water cooling system, a powerful exhaust fan, and an air assist pump. All of these work together to keep those materials nice and cool, reduce any of those flare ups that you could have, and help to maintain your cutting accuracy, even on those longer and really detailed jobs. The Mira 5S comes pre-installed with a two inch lens cartridge, and this is perfect for most of those general projects that you'll be working on. To focus this lens, I typically just use a gap of 8.5 millimeters between my laser head and the material, and you can use Eon's included focus gauge. Now, if you want to upgrade or specialize, Eon makes it super easy because they actually have magnetic lens cartridges, so you have no tools required. This is actually insane, it's so easy. You're just going to gently pull out that current lens, store it somewhere nice and safe and clean, and then just easily snap the new lens right into place until it sits flush with the head. Personally, I love using the 2.5 inch lens when I'm engraving my full tumbler wraps with that rotary attachment. This is just going to give me a little bit of a longer focal length, that way I have extra clearance so the head doesn't happen to collide with any curved surfaces. For those projects, I manually focus between 10.5 millimeters and 21 millimeters, just depending on the size of my tumbler. The Mira 5S gives you a few different ways that you can connect to it. So you have your Wi-Fi option, a USB cable, a LAN network cable, and a USB flash drive, which comes included by Eon. Personally, I prefer using my USB cable connection just because it's super reliable. It makes it really easy if you have last minute edits or any settings tweaks from your computer, which I always seem to have. And the machine is compatible with two main software options. You have Lightburn. Now this is going to be your more advanced option and it's what I use. It's incredibly powerful. It's really great for creating those intricate designs, whether they be small or really big. If you're familiar with Adobe Illustrator, Lightburn's going to have a super intuitive, similar feel to it. As a bonus, Eon includes a free Lightburn license with every laser purchase, which is so helpful. Now, the only downside to this is you will need to spend a little bit of time learning the software. Luckily, they have tons and tons of free video tutorials out there that are going to walk you through every single thing that you can do. So definitely plan on a little bit of a learning curve if you're new to it, but you will wanna take the time to unlock all of those features and really get the most out of your machine. I use the time between ordering and waiting for my machine to really get acquainted with that software. That way, as soon as it arrived, I was up and ready to run. RD Lightworks is the one that is a better suited for simple projects and beginner friendly setups. It's not going to be as advanced as Lightburn, but it is a great option if you prefer a bit of a more basic interface. This machine is seriously so versatile when it comes to materials. So it can cut acrylic up to 1 4 inch, wood, leather, plastic, it can also cut fabric, and it can cut so many more materials, but it can also engrave. So it can engrave all of those things that I've already listed, but it can also engrave on glass, stone, ceramic, and it can do metal if it's anodized or if it's coated. Some important limitations to keep in mind, it can't cut hardwoods like mahogany, and the metals do need to be anodized or coated. So think a coated tumbler, that's what you would be able to engrave. Eon provides a really helpful guide if you want to compare what could be cut versus engraved, so I highly recommend giving that a look as well. I will be honest, I am a bit of a research nerd when it comes to learning something new, and Eon seriously makes it so easy to just dive all the way in. They have something called the Knowledge Base, which is packed with step-by-step -step guides, it has troubleshooting help, and it has detailed instructions on literally everything from setup and maintenance to project ideas to even using Lightburn tutorials. Now, if you're a bit more of a visual learner, they also have a YouTube channel. They have great, easy to follow video tutorials. 
So whether you're reading or you're watching, there's going to be a ton of support every step of the way. So you never have to feel worried. I never felt like I was figuring things out alone. So is the Mira 5S right for you? Here's a quick snapshot of who this machine is perfect for. It's great for hobbyists and small business owners, great for crafters who are working in a smaller space, and it's wonderful for anyone who's looking for those industrial level features in a compact desktop machine. It's also great if you want fast speeds, clean designs, and really powerful, fast engraving. It's also great if you want to work with acrylic, tumblers, wood signs, and creating custom gifts. Those who want a clean, modern setup with minimal hassle and top of the line performance are going to love this machine. And creators who love learning and want a machine that's backed by a really strong community. If you're still unsure, go ahead and join the Eon Laser USA Facebook group. It is a great way to check out those real projects, get some sizing advice from other owners and ask for any feedback. You can also message Eon directly through their website. They have been so responsive and helpful with me with my machine. Let's talk a little bit about cost and customization. The Mira 5S Redline starts at $6,995. Now, you can completely customize your machine on Eon's website. So options could include adding in a rotary attachment, adding a fume extractor, the matching stand that I have, your lens kit, even having a wireless remote, and plenty more options. It's really helpful to be able to build your dream setup from the very start and make sure you've got everything you need to hit the ground running. I'm going to include a link in the description of this video so that you can visit their website and you can take a look around. Now, if you are worried about the price tag, there's good news. Eon offers flexible financing directly on their site and they have a few different options. So they have fast approval and affordable monthly payments. That way you don't have to pay it all up front. I know how scary that can be. So you can start creating and selling right away without having that huge pressure of a big upfront expense. In fact, a recent poll in Eon's Laser USA Facebook group showed that nearly 40% of all of the users paid off their machines or were on track to pay off their machines in just 90 days. And over 90% hit that goal within a year. All this to say that this machine can absolutely pay for itself and it's so inspiring to see what other creators are building with their Eon machines. If you've been thinking about investing in a laser cutter, the Eon Mira 5S Redline is a great option. Between the build quality, the speed, which I'm obsessed with, and all the built-in features, it's such a solid choice for makers who want more freedom, more precision, and a ton of creative potential. You can shop this exact machine, or you could even shop larger, more powerful machines using the link that I've listed in the description of this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I always am so happy to help. Now that you've made it to the very end of the video, go ahead and pat yourself on the back for that. Here are the free SVG files that I promised you, along with a few fun examples of how I use them in my own projects. Feel free to use these in your own small business on a small scale. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, and then hit the bell so that you never miss a crafty update. And check that description for those free SVG files.